thrift to this corner. This was a completely blank had a rotting deck when I moved in. What's funny is that Enormous Euphorbia was a volunteer. Um, the two highest that I have even pruned from last year were housewarming presents. This one, this uh, in, one in front is a kind of a California fuchsia. It's, but it has a bad name for it. It's Epilobium, or the old name is Oceanaria. I don't know the species. And this pink thing, I put it in here, but it's a weed around here, but I love it. Um, you know, your yarrow. And then I had this brilliant inspiration to add some more blue here. What happened was I bought that as a bottom for that big blue container that I was going to put in the house, and then I decided I'm not going to put that container in the house, so I'll put it out here and put water in it. And I said, oh yeah, and I got this frog climbing up and back over there up my trellis, which I, where I do have a Dutch pipe vine growing, and uh, it's very slow growing, and because uh, it gets no sun and no water, so, you know, it's one way to stunt a plant, I always say. Anyway, and then I said, oh yeah, and I can put the frog in there. So now he's in there in the water, so we have a, both a garden art and a bird bath. Thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye.